pretty sure I'm live. But it doesn't tell me. Okay, hello. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to Mindset Monday. I'm back. <laughs> Had some other priorities the last couple weeks, so uh, let's see, last week I wasn't home yet because I was having a makeup trial for the wedding that I'm hopefully still having if everyone would just comply and yeah so anyway positive things um this past weekend I had a convention with my company and I just wanted to share my favorite thoughts and quotes from that um first of all I don't really want to get too much into everything going on because I've pretty much done that the last couple of Mindset Mondays and I've made posts so um, just want to say all positive things today. Um, first thing, uh, if you guys have visited my page, um, I have the serenity prayer on there and it's God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. And, you know, I never really, I probably heard that before, but before, until this year, I never really appreciated it and took it in as I do now. It, don't, it never really made that much sense to me until now. So it just, it, it helps you let go of some of that control. Um, because we do have control over our thoughts and our feelings, but there are so many things in this world that we don't, and there's a lot of uncertainty right now, and it just, it's not healthy to hold on to so much of that and feel like you want to control it, but it's outside of us, and there's only so much that we ourselves as individuals can control so I was never like spiritual or talking about God all the time but this is one of those cases where you just have to let go and let God so that's the first thing I want to say um all right so I'm going to speak on a few different topics today um and I'll end with some of my favorite John Maxwell stuff because he was on the convention this weekend. So, some of my fa other favorite quotes that were shared is um, the most powerful thing we have is our attitude and how we react. So that kind of ties into the first thing I said. You know, there's only so much we can do and control, um, but we have control over our attitude and our thoughts. Um, I'm not perfect all the time. I have my moments. Josh can attest to that. But I've, I've learned to catch myself and remind others and myself along the way. So that's that part. Next thing I want to talk about is committing. Committing to change. Committing to consistency and action. Um, if you really want something, you will stop making excuses. Be all in with whatever it is you want to focus on. Be all in for whatever priority you have in your life. Be all in. And if there's a million things, you might not be as good at a million things as you want to be. But choose one thing. Just choose one thing to be all in. And just do your best use your time intentionally um, find the time that you have so we all have the same I'm sure you've heard this we all have the same 24 hours in a day um, we all have the same time frame it's just what we choose to do with our time and how we prioritize those tasks and speaking of dreams, 
dreams without goals are just fantasies. So doing something unimportant well, this is where the John Maxwell thing came in. Doing something unimportant well. Oh, this wasn't John Maxwell, sorry. The next part's John Maxwell. <laughs> doing something unimportant well doesn't make it important. That one got me because it's like you can do things, you feel like you're doing them well, or you go throughout your day and you're just like, you do a lot of things. And then it's that day where you, at the end of the day, you're like, what did I do? What did I do today? So those are those moments where you're like, I, do, I did something important or I did something unimportant and I did it well, but I don't feel like I did anything productive or important. So focus on doing the few things that will lead you to the biggest progress to your dreams. You become what you envision yourself to be. Love that one. All right, so now my favorite part, John Maxwell. Um, John Maxwell said, everything worthwhile is uphill. Our best lessons in life are learned out of the worst times. That one got me too, because it's, right now a lot of us are the country, the world is probably in the worst times that we've seen in, in a long time. But what he talked about was what we, what we focus on, the bigger it gets. What we ignore shrinks. So focus on belief and faith. So if we focus on, oh my God, everything sucks. That's all we're gonna see. We're gonna see, oh my God, there's so many cases. Oh my gosh, there's there's all these protests. If you're just focusing on that, it's gonna look bigger in your world. Not that it's not there, it's there. But focus on what you want to feel, you know? So, I'm not saying ignore those things because, like he says, what we ignore shrinks. Ignoring coronavirus may not necessarily make it shrink, but or like ignoring it and blatantly going out and doing things is not going to make it shrink. But if we focus on belief and faith, focus on that, your belief and faith will grow. If we focus internally on all the negative things, that will grow. So starve out that fear. Starve out the fear. Feed your faith. Um, a little bit more. So everything you want but don't have is outside of your comfort zone. I'm sure you've heard that before. I think I've talked about that before too. My favorite thing that John Maxwell said that he ended with was making lemonade. And I wish I had the pictures that he had. He had a bowl of lemons and then the lemon with the squeezer and then the glass with the lemonade in it. So he said, you take the lemons, you squeeze them, you put them in the glass and you drink. <laughs> Somebody, he said that way better than I did, but it was pretty awesome. Um, opportunity is hidden by adversity. So get through the problem to get to the opportunity. Take those lemons, squeeze them, put it in the glass, and drink that lemonade. So those are my little messages to you today that uh, some of my takeaways from this weekend, and that's what I'll be focusing on and I hope that that helps some of you get some ideas and have the right mindset for moving forward from today and moving through your week. Hope you all have a great week and I will see you all next week. Bye.